you doing here? Eric Watson, uh, Gracie Jiu Jitsu Purple Belt here with Daryl James, uh, Blue Belt here at Capital MMA. Daryl, how long you been training with Capital MMA? And tell everybody how old you are. Well, Eric, I'm 50 years old and I've been training at Capital for almost four years now. Coming up next year, I'll be four years. What attracted you to Capital MMA and what motivates you to keep going? Well, about four years ago, I was trying to look for something my son and I could bond with. I have a 14 year old, at the time he was 10, and we had just moved here from Winchester, Virginia. And I was looking for something we could do together, although we did stuff like basketball and swimming. I wanted to do something we could do where he could learn self-defense and we can bond together. Plus, I was extremely overweight and I wanted to get back in shape. So I looked around at different gyms in the area. I've always been interested in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, in particular the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, because I watched um, UFC years ago. Right. And I found Capital, and I call it home now. I love it so much. If you don't mind me asking, how much did you weigh prior to starting your training <laughs> at Capital MMA? Well, when I started at my heaviest, I got up to 311. I, had, wow. um, I was morbidly obese. I had high blood pressure, sleep apnea, I have degenerative arthritis, my bones ate, I just ate unhealthy. And how much do you weigh now? 240 is where I like to stay at. Do you compete in competitions at all, whether it be Muay Thai, boxing, or Jiu Jitsu? Well, I used to. When I first started Jiu Jitsu, three months in Jiu Jitsu, I did my first competition at Copa Nova out in um, Chantilly, Virginia. And I was a white belt. I had no idea what I was doing. I just went out there because I wanted to go out there and train and I wanted to do it. But ever since then, I haven't competed at all. Did you have fun while you competed and did you feel forced into competing at all? No, I did not feel forced into competing. I wanted to kind of judge how far I have come in those couple of months. I had tons of fun doing it. Although the reason I don't compete now is as I got older, I felt like my anxiety got up high where I just don't like competing anymore. It That's wasn't understandable. that it wasn't fun, it was just that I felt like a lot of pressure in it. And what I want to do is I want to enjoy jujitsu and continue to do it with my son without having that all, all that anxiety. As far as your training in jujitsu, like, do you have any favorite submissions? Like, what's your go-to? Well, my go-to is the Ezekiel. Here we are with owner, operator, Jeremy Lafreniere with Capital MMA, uh, first degree, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, Black Belt. Jeremy, if you could, tell us a little bit about the structure of Capital MMA. So, I founded Capital MMA in 2001 in the art room of an elementary school. I'm an elementary school teacher by trade. I started jiu-jitsu as an accident in 1997 in Connecticut, the first Gracie Jiu-Jitsu school in Connecticut, um, under the Gracie Academy, uh, Gracie Network chapter, one of the original on the East Coast. If, if you can envision like starting like this, this, this art, like this, this pursuit at kind of an unhappy time in your life, and it, it filled in all those gaps. It was social, it was your endorphins are flowing, you know, um, you're learning valuable skills, proven martial arts, right? The stuff that was being used in the original UFCs. Um, so you dial forward. I wanted to recreate something that a person could join that would be just as beneficial for them, not just the proven martial arts, but a social, communal experience, something that they can use to um, kind of escape maybe the, the current realities, um, uh, it, but in a positive way, not like a, a um, kind of a, a school mission, right? Friendly, fun, safe training environment for the proven mixed martial arts and elite fitness programs. And then you dial forward all these years, we got six schools, and uh, it's not just for, like you said, competitors, it's for everybody. So your, your son does this, you do this. Um, I've, since I've known you the last four years, you've lost an incredible amount of weight. Um, you know, it's helping your son through some of the things that he's dealing with. And, um, and again, even to this day, I'm 45 years old, and jujitsu still helps me um, every single day that I'm alive. So, so how much healthier are you right now as a result of taking jujitsu? 110%. Yeah. I would all to you for founding this, getting me from 311 to 240 and being healthy. No yeah. more sleep apnea machine, no more high blood pressure medicine, yep. no more cholesterol medicine. Yep. I just did 10%. Okay. And guys, very proud. I'm proud. Um, everybody says, oh, Jeremy, you know, thank you so much for, for owning this or for founding this. Um, the other part about the culture at Capital is it's not my school. This is our school. I really believe in this. It's a village. It's not just a king. 
So for me, I founded something that I wanted to be a part of, not something that I could own. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.